Aries, welcome back to Egyptian Intuition Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to book a personal, the information is below. If you would like to join members, that information is also on the page. Just log on from a laptop and click join. Um, let's say a quick prayer before we jump into it, and then let's just get started. So, Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Aries on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. So, first things first, happy birthday. It is officially Aries season. I hope you guys have been enjoying your season. If you've celebrated your birthday, I hope it was wonderful. If it is still upcoming, I hope it's everything that you could imagine and more. Your channel messages, so let's start. Something I'm hearing is water under the bridge. Go back in your camera roll to August 9th and see why that's significant, or you could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo, or you could be dealing with a Leo at work or something like that. Something about 11 years ago is coming back around, and I feel like um, we talked about that last week and maybe the Pisces reading or the Virgo reading, like running into somebody that you haven't seen in 12 years, but consistently running into them like after that long. Also, um, it was 8.09 when I started your video. It is 8.12 right now. Something about eloquence. I'm hearing you really know how to deliver a message. Um, I was hearing something about an opioid epidemic or globally we might find out about something about an, an overdose. And then right after that, I was hearing How to Save a Life. That song is like, where did I go wrong? I lost a friend. I would have stayed up with you all night if I knew, you know what I mean? So you could be finding out that somebody's struggling with some type of addiction, somebody close to you, somebody close enough that when you find out, it's like, yo, you could have called me, like you could have reached out to me like if you needed help, you know? But I see you kind of being disappointed that you weren't informed that somebody that you love and somebody that's dear to you, I'm hearing near and dear, is struggling in some way, shape, or form. So I feel like also I'm getting like you might feel offended that somebody didn't think that you, you know, would help them or something like that. Like, why would you, you know, something like that. You could be celebrating a lot, eating out, drinking, you know, it's your birthday month. Um, also... I see somebody from your past kind of running into you, maybe somebody that you used to be very emotional with, you used to have your guard down, and they could be realizing that you're more stern, you have your guard up, you're very now business oriented, and it's like I see them kind of asking you like, oh, what changed or what happened, but it's just like the field, whatever field you're in, you don't have time but i have written here like you can't afford to be in your cancer energy like you can't afford to approach things emotionally you can't afford to be getting tied up and wrapped up in i'm hearing the hustle and bustle of like what you used to get tied up in like now you have to only focus on like what makes sense to focus on and everything else kind of falls underneath that so yeah i'm hearing harden isn't that somebody's last name james harden James Harden, I think that's an athlete or a singer. That could be your initials, J-H. But I'm hearing like your exterior has hardened or something like that, yeah. Can I, yeah, so you said that. Um, I feel like something's over and a new cycle begins. If you were struggling, I feel like that's over now. You're walking into a new cycle. Also, I was hearing something about the Da Vinci Code, but there's a song by St. John. He always comes up a lot. You guys could watch, sorry, you guys could listen to him, um, or your name could be John, but there's a song he has called Monica Lewinsky, and he says in that song, like, she's got a code like Da Vinci. So something about Morse code, talking in code, or like, maybe you and somebody, you guys have your own type of like, I'm hearing subtle communication or like something about subliminal communication. Okay, something that you record or produce this month in April, by August, it's global. So if it's like if you 
get a nudge to start anything, pursue anything, do something brand new this month, by August, it's global, you know? So I don't know if this is sales, I don't know if this is you putting something out there and it reaches like a lot of people, or you sell something and you know, it's selling all over the world, but I'm hearing don't sleep on yourself because something's gonna turn out really, really big. Um, I was also hearing the day after or the morning after, so there could have been something significant about yesterday or last night whenever you watch this, but I feel like ultimately, like I said, you're back in your energy. Also, don't let anybody rush you. Make sure you take your time when it comes to doing things that are important to you. Um, we're gonna look up some details about Monica Lewinsky. I wanna see when, um, when she was born. I'm getting Scorpio or Gemini energy. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio or Gemini. Um, this month, you're gonna be very, in your energy, you're gonna be very confident. Just watch your patience or watch losing your patience with certain people. That was interesting. Um, also, I'm getting this month, like there's no denying who you are. Like nobody can come in and tell you about yourself. Nobody can like take your position away from you or talk down. It's like whatever it is that you do, you do it well, you do it the best. Um, something about January 30th, go back and see why that was significant. Also, I was hearing my boyfriend's hoodie or yeah, it wouldn't be my girlfriend's hoodie, but yeah, my boyfriend's hoodie. You could be wearing your man's hoodie. Also, I was hearing something about an opera singer. You could be an opera singer or something about a child star opera singer. I see you also taking really good care of the people that you love this month. Also, if you're about to solidify, sign something, seal the deal on a contract or whatever, you need to explore other options. Like I see somebody just about to sign a lease on a place in a really bad neighborhood, but it looks really good online. So make sure that you do your due diligence in exploring and fact checking and all of that when it comes to buying anything, one expensive or something that you have to commit to, you know, like a lease or or so on and so forth. So let's look up Monica Lewinsky really quick. Also, like I said, go listen to that song by St. John. It could be significant to you. Monica Lewinsky birthday. She is a Cancer. She's 48. She's from San Francisco. Okay. She was a television personality and a fashion designer, former White House intern. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let's get into it now. Where should we start? Someone might have to tell you something, like a long story, and they don't even know where to start. Or maybe you haven't caught up with somebody in a while, a Pisces I'm getting, and they're like, oh my god, I have so much to tell you. I don't even know where to start, like blah, blah, blah. I'm also hearing that meme where it's like girls don't tell you different stories. They just like tell one big story with like a whole bunch of stories within that. So yeah, delight. I see somebody very happy to see you, very happy to spend time with you. This could be you, very happy to see people. This could be your birthday celebration or something like that. I also feel like there's somebody that's very happy to see how much you've grown or this is you um, feeling this way about somebody here. Shuffle for Aries. Be careful not to overexert yourself or exhaust yourself during your season here. I see initiation in reverse and the fool right in between that. I feel like there's a job here as well that you thought you weren't gonna get. You thought maybe they overlooked you. They never called you back, but it's like suddenly, I'm hearing randomly, you get an opportunity almost out of nowhere. Like look how much time has passed. You forgot about this, it's long gone, it's dead, it's over. And then it's like, boom, you wanna, I'm hearing come be a part of the team or come be a part of this new organization. This could be during cancer season. Yeah. Also, hold on. Something about 2015, an opportunity from 2015. Yeah, it could be coming back around or maybe something you kind of, I'm hearing dipped and dabbled in in 2015. You could be taking more seriously, especially if it involves your creativity, Gemini energy here. I'll let that pass in the back. 
Some of you are realizing that in the past you've been unmotivated or quote unquote depleted, tired, exhausted because you weren't incorporating your passions or your creativity into your day to day life. And I feel like your perceptions changing on that and you're realizing that you can truly manifest whatever it is that you want to do in the world. Like we're blessed to live in a world where you can literally do anything, right? So I feel like, yeah, denial here. You've been in denial about your max potential like how much you truly can manifest but in airy season that's all changing something about aquarius energy or innovation you might have some bomb idea like whatever yeah aquarius energy the star whatever idea that you get this month i'm telling you by august this shit is like crone ascension here this is I just keep hearing global, 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 global. You could be teaming up in the, with an Aquarius or this could be something in regards to technology, but literally between April and August, those are key months for you. Yeah, here's that times up energy. I posted that on the community board. I feel like when we stepped into Aries season at the end of March, like around March 20th or so, and I watched the video by the weekend called Out of Time Today. It was such a cute video. Um, something about karaoke could be significant, but yeah, I'm getting times up or now's the time. It's time to do something. It's time to take action here. I see children on the bottom of the deck. Some of you feel like you're running out of time, especially if you're in your late twenties, early thirties, mid thirties, you could be feeling like you're running out of time to have children here. Also, some of you need to reflect on your own childhood too. Shuffle for Aries. I'm hearing the song On and On by Erica Badu. As soon as I like saw this card, I just heard On and On. So shuffle for Aries. Yeah, oh, oh my God. Okay, my whole thing about this, I'm not really there yet, so I'm not sure how this feels emotionally, but I truly do feel somebody that's worried about like, are, am I going to be able to have kids in time? Especially if you're single, like you're worried about like, I thought I'd be married with a family and like this and that by now. But honestly, don't let societal pressures like make you feel that way if this is you. Um... Because I'm seeing like, how do you say this? I feel strange talking about like a dynamic or a feeling that I'm not privy to, you know? Because I've never, <laughs> I don't want to say I've never craved children, but it's just not, I'm just not there yet. So I see flowers here and animals. Some of you could be getting a new animal and that's going to alleviate this. Like that's going to take up that space in your heart where it's like a small child would or I don't know something. But there's something about insecurity around children here for somebody. This could literally just be for one person here. But ultimately during this month, I see you guys getting your flowers here. If you're feeling trapped, I feel like that's going to be alleviated as well. Well, let me see. If you're dreaming of being confined in some way, you're, that's your dreams or that's your unconscious telling you that some pattern of thought or action is somehow impeding your personal progress. This could have to do with a relationship. This could be a wake up call. You need to reevaluate and refresh. It's time to find new ways to move forward. So remember how we were talking about like you're about to sign off on something, but you need to wait. You need to do your research, do your due diligence. Yeah, it's kind of feeling like that too. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know. Look at this. It's like something's chasing you like in the back of your mind like a thought, an idea, um, some type of pressure, but I feel like it's like a societal pressure, like a family pressure, or like a comparison type of pressure. I don't feel like it's a real thing. Shuffle for Aries, let's move forward. Some of you 
you are done, yeah, the sun here. Some of you are done waiting for someone to change. I'm seeing the Father of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody very stingy, very greedy. Like you're done waiting for somebody to change your attitude, change their dynamic, change the way that they're approaching a situation and you're gonna manifest something brand new. Um, whatever brings you the most happiness in the present, in the physical, in the 3D, I feel like that's what you're setting your sights on and you're not, it's like you're not looking at somebody's potential anymore. You're not looking at the way something could be. You're looking at something exactly how it is and you're moving based off that. So I feel like, yeah, you're breaking away from any thought patterns that were holding you back or any like hopes that were holding you back that but weren't really following through. And yeah, you're moving on to your Ace of Cups. So beautiful. Okay. Shuffle for Aries. I'm hearing Lion Country Safari. Shuffle for Aries. Ooh, here's that eight and that nine energy. Remember when I said go back in your camera roll to August? Ninth, or you could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo. You're gonna have a realization about something. You're gonna have a dream about something, and it's gonna dispel illusion for you. You have seven, eight, nine. Whatever you realize intuitively, or there's something, Ace of Wands. Either you have a dream about something, or you hear some type of information, and it gives you the answer that you need, whether it's good or bad. It releases some type of illusion and it allows you to start something new, something brand new, maybe on your own, 9-9 nine, nine here. You might find out something about people that you're working with and that inspires you to do something on your own and then you start doing something on your own and that's like a perfect match for you. I don't know, but I feel like justice, there's some weird situation that's gonna realign you to do what you're needing to do right now. Justice is here, but it's gonna require you also to break away from something and like I said, build something on your own or go in a different direction. I think Leo got that. I was hearing quick left during their reading. Yeah, seven of pentacles here. Or it's like a situation where it's like the hangman. You've reached the epitome of everything you could do in a certain place, in a certain dynamic. Like it's time for you to shift something and you're going to realize that. Like I'm hearing dry and barren, you know, no fertile soil. Did you hear that? He was like, nope, not here. Wow. <laughs> Let's move forward. Shuffle for Aries. I'm seeing Christopher Columbus like approach Earth and he's like, yeah, no, it doesn't look like there's anything over here. <laughs> and he kind of turns around. For some of you, it's like you might overlook something. You look at something and you think there's no potential, there's no growth, but there's like, I'm hearing the Americas, it's like a whole new world or whatever. It's like a whole, there's a lot of potential, you know? There's a lot of potential. Shuffle for Aries. ancient epiphanies you might want to go watch that Scorpio reading um I think it's called night school in the Scorpio playlist shuffle for Aries Ooh, ten of gardens ten of pentacles for some of you you leave a dynamic you go do something on your own and you literally ten of pentacles that's like a self no it's not a self-made millionaire that's more so like the nine of pentacles but it's like you can't reach the Ten of Pentacles without the Nine in most cases. So not only does it lead you to where you want to be financially, but I feel like it also attracts like your partner if you don't have one or something. Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, that's like, that's everything right there. Celebration. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You could be dealing with the Libra here. You could be moving. Some of you are moving, yeah. Some of you are moving to a new area. It's like you're realizing where you are is dry and barren. There's nothing you could do. There's nothing new. Like you've reached the epitome and now you're moving forward to like a new, the Empress on the bottom of the deck, a new world, Christopher Columbus energy. Something about CC, that could be your initials here. Yeah, it's almost like I see you in a place where it's like, 
I'm hearing trials and tribulations here. And then you move to a place and it's like you're celebrated, you're appreciated, the moon in reverse. Like everyone can see you for exactly who you are. 6666 six, six, six there with the 18 and the six right here. So something some of you might need one of those readings where it kind of tells you where in the world you're meant to be i believe that's called cartography or something like that but some of you need one of those readings eight of fire or like look up your chinese zodiac and see because you know you can go on google look up your chinese zodiac that's based off the year that you were born and you can see the details off that like what regions you don't do well in like for me personally i don't i don't do well in the south or in the east supposedly but i've always lived on the southeast <laughs> so i know that much i've never done like a full reading i've never had anyone do that but i feel like it would be interesting for you guys to kind of see that perspective because if you're wondering like why you're not reaching you know your pinnacle or all that you could reach it could be your area it could be your geographical location father of swords and the nine of cups some of you are about to meet a gemini libra aquarius gonna give you some really good advice this is somebody i feel like you don't know them yet <laughs> uh let's move forward aries trouble for aries oh yeah knight of pentacles death and transformation two of wands if you're feeling guided to make a big change, do that. Do that. Because you're going to go from the Knight of Pentacles to like the Queen or the King of Pentacles. There's going to be a huge transformation just by moving, just by being in a different energy. Like I see somebody really trying to figure out like what is it? Why isn't anything changing? You know, why do things feel stagnant? As soon, The day they move, like the, the moment they're out of wherever they are, the town they're in, the state they're in, everything changes. I'm here even like the appearance changes, you know? Shuffle for Aries is such a strange phenomenon. Yeah, nine of pentacles. And personally, like I can tell you this, um, what I've noticed is anytime I travel west, I'm a different person like I'm a completely different person and it's like I never realized how much here on the east like when I wake up and stuff there's certain things I kind of had to do but there's such like a part of my routine that it's normal now but I have to kind of like mentally get myself in my vibe if that makes sense but like when I'm on the west or like I'm away from the east coast I wake up and I'm just like singing to the birds like i'm just a whole like i'm a whole 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 different person so truly i can attest to that like depending on where you are who you are and what your birth chart says you know what's best for you you will live a completely different life in a different area like i've accomplished more in a week on the west than i have in three months on the east at some points in my life so that's just a little personal example for you guys yeah the nine of pentacles and the nine of wands in reverse right underneath that so choose i'm hearing pick your poison but not like that but you really gotta pick and choose like what's best for you at this time in your life okay anything else for aries seven of cups in reverse illusion dispelled three of pentacles yeah that might be it that might be a king of cups that might be it for a lot of you a lot of you just need to move into a different environment that's more i'm hearing sufficient and suitable for your energy shuffle for aries queen of swords on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius shuffle for aries some of you have blonde hair some of you could be wearing white right now. I'm hearing lilac. Lilac, is that a color? Seven of Cups here. You started with the Seven of Cups and you ended with the Seven of Cups here with this Queen of Swords. I'm hearing pulling the wool over your eyes. You could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius that feels like, I don't know. 
I feel like there's just some type of sur illusion, illusion surrounding this scenario, and there's the fool coming up after this. So, hmm. Hold on. Lilac. Oh, it's a plant. But yeah, I was seeing this color. I was seeing this exact color. Yeah, wow. Something about this color could be significant. Okay, what's this Queen of Swords and the Seven of Cups here? Fell on the ground. The Emperor. During Aries season, Leo kind of got this energy too. If you're dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or something from the past, there's going to be some type of death and transformation. You might realize that you've been an illusion about something. Or maybe this is somebody realizing this too. But during Aries season, whatever this is, like, yeah, the moon, whatever is hidden, it's going to be revealed or it's going to be made clear whatever if there were any illusions they're going to be cleared up during aries season anything else for aries no yeah ten of swords in reverse and the ace of wands a lot of you fire signs yeah the hermit a lot of you guys are being guided to certain information that will dismantle a dynamic but it's going to free you to take on something else ace of wands and that something else is where you're meant to be going what you've been looking for like that's the very thing like that's the next that's the next phase that's the next step you know so don't be deterred or you know, don't be swayed or get into any moods where you feel like things are more so falling apart than coming together because sometimes things have to fall apart so other things that are right for you can come together. Yay. Last deck. Let's just see what's going on in this deck. Shuffle for Aries. Nine of Cups. Ooh, expect some type of new beginning. Somebody might kind of, ooh, my mom's calling me. She's a Scorpio. I was just about to say, somebody might reach out to you and I'm literally, wow. Okay, mom. The moon, mother, king of coins, and the five of swords. Your mom could be introducing you to somebody. The tower right here could be a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. Especially for those of you that are like, oh my God, I'm like 30, I'm single. It's like your mom stepping in like, hey, hey, <laughs> look, here's this queen of swords. What do you think about her? What do you think about her? What do you, th what do you think about her? Or what do you think about him? Ace of cups, ace of cups, right? Ace of cups. And you're just like, mom, stop. <laughs> Ten of swords. Yeah, you're like, please stop. Stop reminding me. Six of cups. But I feel like there's something from your past. There's something from your past coming back around. What years did we say here again? Something about 11 years ago. Think back to 2011. Heavy Leo and Virgo energy for you guys, too. Yeah. Eight of Wands, something moves really fast. Okay, Justice. All right. Um, what was this about? I, I don't know. I feel like this was just like a bunch of random information, but hey, it's been a while. It's your birthday, so you guys needed a reading for sure. I try to do Sag, they weren't really budging today, so I'm gonna I'm let them have another day and get back into it tomorrow, but I guess this is fine. So thank you so much, Aries. I will see you next time.